All right, guys, today we're gonna be talking about the cost of M5X swapping an E30. If you don't care about the cost and you just want a good technical guide on how to do the swap, we made a five-part swap guide. You can click the cards right there, link in the description, or go check out our channel. You'll find it pretty easy. Now, the largest factor for the cost of this swap is definitely gonna be which motor you choose to start with. If you're gonna be doing the S50 or S52 performance motors, or going with the more available, more affordable M50 and M52 motors. For this video, we're gonna be budgeting for a M50 swap, and we're gonna be assuming that you don't have any parts for this swap already, and that you're just starting with a rolling E30. If you're starting this build with a manual six cylinder E30, then you already have the transmission, flywheel, starter, and drive shaft that we need for this swap. In a few moments, when I mention that you need the transmission from the car that you have, don't add it to your budget because you already have that transmission. You don't need it because you already have it. Does that make sense? I don't need it because I already have it? Yeah. Anytime we do one of these cost videos, we always get people messaging us being like, oh, your budget is so inaccurate. I f***ed my friend's d for an hour and got the engine for free. I robbed a pick and pull at gunpoint and got my transmission and then contacted my friend's dog's brother who works in the auto industry and got a wholesale discount on spark plugs. F you. These cost videos are made to be a good, reasonable budget for this swap. Obviously you can do it for cheaper. Obviously you can do it for more expensive. This is just made to be a nice, simple guideline. All right, so first things first, we're gonna pick up our used M50. You can usually find one for around $500 and we're gonna assume that it comes with a wiring harness, ECU, and hopefully also like the intake boot and the MAF. Now, while the engine is out, this is a really good time to swap out your thermostat and water pump. You can get those guys off of Rock Auto for about $70. And you should also do a new pressure plate and clutch. You can also get those off of Rock Auto for about $250. To be able to even fit this engine into an E30, you're gonna need the oil pan, the windage tray, dipstick, and pickup tube from an E34 5 Series. Now, depending if you pick this up at a scrapyard or off of eBay, it's gonna range between two to $600. For this budget, we'll put down 500 bucks. To mount this engine into the car, you're gonna to need to use E36 engine arms, and then for your engine mounts, you can get these polyurethane mounts from Garagistic for $200, or you can get these E28 M5 mounts off of FCP Euro for $20. Hmm, tough choice. All right, for the transmission on this budget, we're gonna be using the five speed out of the E30, the G260, because it makes the swap so simple. You don't have to swap out your final drive gears. You can use the factory drive shaft, factory flywheel, factory starter, really quite simple. So for all you six cylinder guys, you already have all those parts, as I mentioned in the beginning, but for everybody else, we're gonna be needing the transmission, which you can usually find for around $400, and then the starter, flywheel, and drive shaft, which you can usually find used for about $250 as well. Now, before we can bolt that flywheel up to the engine, you're gonna to need to machine down the back of it just like this, and you can get that done at a machine shop for about $100. And then for mounting the transmission into the car, we're going to need a new transmission cross member, which you can get from Garagistic, and it's about $100, which is really not that bad. Now, if you were handy with a welder, you could also just make your own cross member. For our exhaust, we'll use the factory M50 exhaust manifolds, and we'll just pay an exhaust shop 200 bucks to hook those up to our factory E30 exhaust. Now, if you had a welder, you could also save a little bit of money there too. All right, let's move on to the cooling system. Now, for your radiator, you can really use whatever rad you want from E30, E36, four-cylinder or six-cylinder cars. I really like the E36 four-cylinder rad because it has an expansion tank right on the side of the rad so it cleans up your engine bay and it's got a port on the side where you can put your fan temp switch. Now, I picked up one of those guys at a scrapyard for like 50 bucks. All right, for your rad hoses, you can use two of those guys right there, and that'll be about 40 bucks. And then you'll need a 12 inch electric cooling fan. You can pick one up for 100 bucks. Last thing you'll need is a fan temp switch. And ideally, one already came in that rad that I just talked about. But if there's not one for some reason, then just keep looking around the scrapyard. You'll find one, and it'll be like five bucks. For relocating your brake booster, there's all sorts of ways to do it. But the easiest and cheapest way to do it is just to drill a couple holes, move the booster over a little bit, and all you need is a $5 clevis pin from the scrapyard. We have an entire video explaining just how to do this. So if you want to see that, then check the link in the description or go check out our channel. 
Next, we're gonna be needing a Red Label 413 ECU to run this engine. Ideally, one came with the engine that we bought, but if not, you can always buy one used for around $50. Next, we're gonna to need to adapt the E36 engine harness to the E30 body harness through the C101 plug. When I did my swap, Garagistic sold an adapter plug that was like $200, but I couldn't find it on their website anymore. So I guess you just need to pin it yourself which on a good note is free, but costs a f load of your time. Lastly, to get that coolant gauge working, you're gonna need to throw in your E30 cooling sender into the M50 block, but anyone that has an E30 should already have the sender, and if you don't, then just go to the scrapyard, five bucks. All right, last few things you're gonna be needing for your swap is a air intake filter, which will be about $60, and then you'll need a E34 throttle cable, this part number right here, which will be about $40. And the grand total is 2,740. And for all you guys that started with a manual six cylinder E30 and didn't need that transmission, flywheel, starter, and drive shaft, your total is $2,090. Not bad. All right, hopefully this video was very helpful for you. If you're looking at going ahead with this swap and want some more technical information on how to do it, we made a five-part swap guide on that exact subject. So go ahead and click the cards right here or check in the description, or just go check out our channel. You can find it there too. And while you're looking at our channel, we've got all sorts of other fun videos. I've got a LS3 swap E30, Clayton's got a V8 swap Miata, and not too far away, we're gonna be starting our V10 swapped RX-7. So like and subscribe to the channel because there's all sorts of good stuff coming out soon. See ya.